Let's solve this problem. Evaluate the integral. So we have here the integral of x cubed over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. So actually, this integral can be evaluated using simple u substitution. But I will use another method to evaluate this integral, which is the trigonometric substitution. So whenever we are given the form of the integral, square root of a square minus u square du, we can have trigonometric substitution as we let u be equal to a sine theta. So therefore, we will transform the integral in terms of the new variable theta. So if you try to pattern the given integral, the square root expression to this form of the integral, I can rewrite this first as integral of x cubed over, so this one I can write as 1 square, then just copy this x squared dx. So if you pattern the original integral to this form, I can equate or have the value of a as 1, and I can also have the value of x as u. So therefore, a is equal to 1, and u is x. So applying this substitution, we can let u be equal to a, which is 1, then times sine theta, or that simply u is equal to sine theta. But take note that x is equal to u, so we can substitute u as x, so we have x is equal to sine theta. And then, we need to get the derivative of both sides, derivative of u, that's dx, derivative of sine theta, that's cosine theta, d theta. Okay, if we substitute in the original integral, we will have x, which is equal to sine theta, then we raise it to the third power. So we have sine cubed theta, this dx is equal to cosine theta d theta all over, okay, we have the square root of 1 minus x again, which is sine theta, then we need to square, so we have sine squared theta. If we simplify this, we will have sine cubed theta cos theta d theta over the square root of this 1 minus sine squared theta is equivalent to cos sine squared theta applying Pythagorean identities, right? And therefore, it can be equal to sine cubed theta cos sine theta d theta over the square root of cos sine squared theta, that's just cos sine theta. So we can cancel this cos sine theta. We are left with sine cubed theta d theta. So how do we evaluate the integral of sine cubed theta? So we can split the power of sine as sine squared theta times sine theta d theta. And then applying Pythagorean identity for sine squared theta, I can have that as 1 minus cos squared theta times sine theta d theta. And then I can use another substitution. Let's say I can let V be equal to cosine theta. Getting the derivative of both sets, derivative of V is dV. Derivative of cosine theta, that's negative sine theta d theta. So therefore, we have created this sine theta d theta on the original integral. We just need to get rid of this extra coefficient of negative 1. So I divide both sides by negative 1 first. So we will have dv over negative 1 or negative dv equal to sine theta d theta. Let's substitute. We will have the integral of 1 minus. So this cosine theta is now equal to v. Then there's a square. So we have 1 minus v square. Sine theta d theta is equal to negative dv. So... I can distribute this negative here. So I will have integral of negative 1 plus v squared dv. Then distributing the integral symbol together with the dv. So we can integrate term by term. We will have negative integral of dv plus integral of v squared dv. Evaluating these two integral for the first one, we have negative integral of dv. That's just v plus integral of v squared dv, that's 
V raised to 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1, applying power rule, right? Or that's simply V cubed over 3 plus C. Now, let's transform back the B in terms of the original variable. V is cosine theta, right? So, therefore, we will have negative cosine theta plus 1 third V, which is cosine theta again, raised to the third plus C. Now, we are not yet done. We still need to transform back this cosine theta in terms of the original variable x, right? So, let's go back to our substitution. So, we let x be equal to sine theta, right? Or, that's the same as x is equal to 1 sine theta. So, if we divide both sides by 1, we will have x over 1 is equal to sine theta. So, from here, we can draw a reference right triangle. So, take note that sine theta has a definition of opposite over hypotenuse. If we draw a reference right triangle, and let's say this is the theta. So, from this definition, I can have the value of the opposite side to theta as x and the hypotenuse as 1. So, therefore, this hypotenuse will be 1. And the side opposite to theta, which is this side, should be equal to x. Then, completing the part of the triangle, I can have the value of this leg using Pythagorean theorem. That's square root of 1 square minus x square. Or that's 1 minus x square. So, what we want is to find the value of cosine theta using this reference triangle. So, cosine theta... We know that's, by definition, adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So, the adjacent sign to theta is the square root of 1 minus x square over the hypotenuse, which is 1. So, square root of 1 minus x squared over 1, or simply square root of 1 minus x squared. So, therefore, if we substitute the value, we have negative of cosine theta, which is equal to square root of 1 minus x squared, plus 1 third cosine theta again, which is square root of 1 minus x square. Then there's a cube, so we need to cube this expression, then plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.